I'm Alejandra and this is a dress I made two years ago when I had just started sewing. Um, it's a very easy beginner's dress to make. I didn't have a pattern when I made it and today I'm gonna recreate this one using the exa exact same steps as I did when I made this one. So if you wanna see and make your own kind of cute roughly sleeved short short sleeved roughly <laughs> i don't know what to call it if you want to make a dress like this one continue watching for this kind of dress i like using a cotton fabric and imagine that slightly more sturdy cotton the one that you can find in bed sheets so you will also need a t-shirt good scissors a sewing machine a fabric edging you can also diy this fabric obviously and a button. All right, so let's start. Place your shirt on top of your fabric and then trace off the shoulders and the armpits or the armholes. Then from the armpit, try to make it more of an A-line because that's the shape this dress will have. Make sure to add one or two centimeters when you trace it off to add some room for your sewing. Go ahead and cut along the lines that you have traced. And I like to do a little trick. I like to cut half of the dress. And then when I come to the bottom part, I cut the half and then I fold it over. This is to make the sides very even. See if you have room for your neck. I realized mine was too tight, so I'm just adjusting that with a pair of scissors. If you are a person with boobs or boobies, you wanna make sure to sew a dart. That's like a triangle that you sew alongside your chest. And that's simply because the dress will fall more beautiful if you have that. Do that on both sides and make sure they are even steven before you start sewing. When you start sewing, you want to make sure that you are only sewing the loose triangle and not sewing into the rest of the dress, if that makes sense. That's the front side. Now we're going to do the back side and I'm just going to trace off the front to the fabric and cut it out. To make the neckline look a bit more crisp, I'm adding this edging band. I'm pinning it down and I'm folding and I'm pinning and then I will be sewing along the, the band. And this is just to make it look nicer. I apologize for the bad footage here, but what I'm doing now is I'm cutting out a circle on the back of my dress, which you will see here. And then I will be doing the same thing with the edge here. I'll be adding this cotton ribbon that I have and sewing it down. I also folded and sew the other part of the neck opening that was open. And that now I'm gonna attach the front to the back side of the dress and I will be doing that by sewing the two shoulder pieces together. And now I'm gonna pin and sew the sides of the dress. This is actually a step you can do later after attaching the ruffles of the sleeves, but I did it this way. Now I'm using my overlock machine. If you don't have one, you can simply just zigzag all the raw edges. 
this is fun we're gonna fold the fabric on the short side and we're gonna do the ruffled sleeves so i'm folding the fabric i'm cutting off i think it was 15 centimeters or 10 centimeters I'm keeping the fold and I'm just cleaning up the edges. Again, you can zigzag the raw edges. Set your machine to be sewing long stitches and then we will be sewing alongside the fabric on the side that has been overlocked. So not the folded side. And then we'll do another stitch on the side of that. Grab the under threads of the two lines of stitches that you have made and start pulling them. This will make the fabric gather and you will have that ruffle effect. Be very careful so you don't break the threads. If your dress is inside out, you want to attach the sleeve on the inside and then have it face inwards if that makes sense and you attach it with a straight stitch bada boom bada bing you can see the dress coming together now we just have this back part the little button to sew and the ruffle in the bottom now we're doing the last ruffle on the bottom of the dress you decide whether you want to fold it and do exactly the same steps as we did with the ruffles or if you want to keep the fabric unfolded and just have a single sheet if that makes sense then we're gonna scrunch it up just as we did with the sleeves and attach it with a straight stitch When the bottom ruffle is attached, I'm just folding the edges to make a nice trim, pinning it down and uh, sewing a straight stitch. Hey oh, only one bit left. We are doing the little hook by folding, sewing a straight stitch and creating like a little fabric hook. I'm adding the button. And that's it, baby. You can do this. It's super simple and it's super fun. If you end up making a dress like this, inspired by my little roughly fluffly dress, please tag me on Instagram. My name is Alejandra Cerda.co and I promise to reshare it because I think it's so cool to see what you guys will come up with. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram for Copenhagen tips and sustainable fashion, and I'll see you in the next one!